Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 15 of the food court project. So here I create one procedure. Create procedure, procedure name as begin and select start from employee. If you want to execute the procedure, you can execute. It will display all the employee details. So I want to display the employee details in the front end. So here I will write the code for that. And initially I will try to declare the namespace. So here using system dot configuration and using system dot data dot SQL client and to make the things faster I automatically generate the code as we create one stored procedure here right so first of all I create the connection pass the query using data adapter then data adapter will automatically execute the query and store the result of the query in the data set data set is a temporary database then we are filling the data from data adapter to data set and we are displaying the data in the grid view control once debug and check the output here I'll try to log in. Admin will log in with his username and password. Admin and admin. Click on sign in. And here uh, uh, you just click on the view sales. Then automatically it will display the employee details. Now I want to perform editing operations and deleting operations within the data grid view control. Let us see how to perform these operations within the Windows forms. So uh, here I want to uh, display uh, one delete button within the grid view control so I will select the data grid view control and here you can see select the ellipse button click on edit columns and here you just click on add button and here you give the text as delete and here drop down you can select um, data grid view button column and here you can give the header text as delete click on add button and click on close here you can check the uh, header text and uh, here you give the text also as delete and uh, use column text for button this property you have to set to true and uh, that's it click on ok and if you want to add one more button click on add button and here you give the text as edit and here also you select data grid view button column the text you can give as edit is it clear and click on add button and here click on close button and uh, here you can mention uh, the text you can give as edit and uh, the use column text for button you can give as true click on ok so you cannot see the output here just you can see only at the time of executing the program so i will try to just log in with my admin and check the output login with admin and password is admin username is also admin click on sign in and here you just click on salesperson can view the sales so here you see it will automatically display the delete button as well as edit button and actually this is a grid view control in grid view control each and every item can be identified by using index number so always index number start from zero so here the column index i'm writing zero one two here three here four here five here six always the column index start from zero and similarly always the row index also will start from where zero is it clear so here if you try to observe the row index and here i mentioned the row index as zero and here i mentioned as one so whenever user clicks on delete button we have to catch the column index that is which delete button has been clicked and whenever user clicks on either uh, uh, delete button means i want to uh, write the code Similarly, when I user clicks on edit button, I have to identify that which button was clicked. For that, here you can check it out. Whenever user clicks on any button control within the data grid view control, then automatically cell content click event will fire. So write the code in that event. Right click on the grid view control, go to the properties. There you can go for events. There you can find an event called cell content click. Double click on cell content click and write the code. Here I will write the code something like and um, this uh, data grid to cell content click is an event but data grid to one underscore cell content click is a method this method is having two parameters one is object center and the other one is data grid to cell event arc c so this e is the object of data grid to cell event arc class data grid to cell event arc is a class press f12 you can see this uh, uh, class consists of two properties one is column index other one is what row index so how to call the property as these are instance properties you can call by using the object name so here the object name is e so here you can simply write something like if e dot 
if e dot column index is equals to 0 and else here I will write and when user clicks on delete button the column index is 0 here you have to write the delete code if you want I will simply display one message saying that message box dot show off uh, delete code here we have to write else I want to write the update code message box dot show off I will write the code but just I want to check whether it is working or not so once debug and check here so here you can see when user clicks on delete button then here you can see the property column index is 0 it means that I clicked on 0th column and it will display a message that delete so we have to write the code for delete to delete the record and similarly when user clicks on what edit button then automatically cell content click event is right column index is 1 so go to which part else part so within that uh, uh, within this 0 here you have to write the delete code and here you have to write the uh, edit code but here as I told that whenever user clicks on here you have to follow some rules whenever user clicks on delete button whenever user clicks on delete button we have to follow some rules so here you can see when you, whenever user clicks on delete button first step we need to count the number of rows that are available within the grid view control so here how many rows are there two rows are there step number three as i already told that each and every row can be identified by using index number and always the index number start from where zero and two rows are there so the index number is zero and one first of all we need to count the number of rows next we need to catch the index value of the row where user clicks on delete button for example if user clicks on the first row delete button we need to catch the index value that is zero and catch the cell based on which you want to perform the delete operation so this is what in this row i need to catch the cell in that cell i have to catch the value and finally delete the record so here you can see rows property step number one is rows property is used to count the number of rows that are available within the grid view control next row index row index property is used to catch the index value of the row where user clicks on delete button next cells of two cells of two is used to catch the column based on which we want to perform the operation i want to delete the record based on employee number and value value property is used to catch the value that is available within that particular cell so now I want to uh, write the code to delete the record so here you can see uh, for that uh, I want to create one stored procedure to make the things first I will automatically write the code so here I create the stored procedure create procedure procedure name parameter at the rate EID and delete from employee where EID is equals at the rate EID right and uh, I he, here I ultimately write the code so whenever user clicks on the delete button first of all we need to catch the value and then we need to create the connection open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure uh, and here you can pass the value whatever the value you catch here you can pass the value and execute the query and then after deleting the record again i have to display the data from the table for that what i have done means previously whatever the code i have written inside the page, uh, form load i written that code inside in separate method now press f5 and check the output here when I click on delete button Rahul now here you see rows property will count the number of rows that are available within the grid view control so how many rows are there three rows are there and row index the first row and the second row I clicked as the first row index is zero second row is one in second row you have to catch the cell uh, dot value what is the value that is e number underscore to press f5 and I think the record is deleted successfully is it clear similarly i want to perform the editing operation within the grid view control let us see here so here i need to write one stored procedure to make the things faster i'll automatically write the procedure so here i create the procedure create procedure procedure name proc underscore update and here you can pass the parameters at the rate eid at the rate ename password address phone number as well as hint so update table name employee set ename is equal to at the rate ename password is equal to at the rate password address is equal to at the rate address phone number is equal to at the rate phone number hint is equal to at the rate hint where eid is equal to at the rate eid and based on employee id i am trying to updating the account so command completed executes uh, executed successfully 
and uh, here to make the things faster I'll automatically generate the code in else part so here whenever a user clicks on uh, salesperson clicks on edit button i want to catch the employee number that is at cells of 2 employee name cells of 3 uh, password address phone number as well as hint and i want to execute the procedure pass the procedure is it clear because delete means you can delete only based on employee number but update means you can update uh, based on employee number but uh, you can update employee name or password address or phone number hint everything we can update so here uh, uh, I will um, update uh, something like uh, password I will give as uh, Anil and uh, phone number I will give okay here you see I think uh, password is updated Anil K to Anil it was updated you go and check in employee table right click on employee edit top 200 rows execute if you want again I will try to update here you can check I will give the password Anil K here Hyderabad here double eight double eight near phone number or you can give something like birthday and here just click on edit button then here you see uh, all the values came e number here e name Anil password is modified Anil K address is Hyderabad phone number double eight double eight hint that is birthday and execute the procedure and here I pass it the values also no need to call the fill data here you can directly as the data is available in where text boxes here you can see the record is updated is it clear so in that manner you can work with what mm, delete as well as edit is it clear I think you understand uh, thank you in the next video oh, I will try to up, uh, upload one more video to forget the password because salesperson can recover the forget password right thank you have a nice day